Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Muhammad Sage with you again. So in this video we're going to start a new Java tutorial series. So I just want to point out that I'm going to try to make this uh, tutorial as easy as possible. So if you're a complete beginner, uh, I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible so that you can follow along easily and if you have uh, advanced experience, it's also going to be easy for you. So, yeah, let's get started with our new video. Hey guys, so the editor that I'm going to use for this tutorial is going to be Eclipse. Uh, there's a bunch of other editors that you can use, but I recommend Eclipse. Uh, so, I recommend you guys also use Eclipse uh, so that the, uh, the downloading process and everything is the same. Uh, so yeah, and you can follow along easily. So first of all, we're going to press on download uh, Now here, okay now It's gonna start this download and it's gonna ask you where do you want to download it? I'm only gonna I'm downloading it here and I'm gonna press on save Now as you see here in the bottom uh, It should take from uh, three to five minutes uh, it's according to your computer storage and RAM. So, yeah, I'm going to put it back when it's done. Okay, guys, so it's done downloading. So, now what we're going to do is that we're going to extract all. So, we're going to press and extract all. And you're going to see this. Uh, this here, uh, this folder is going to be different because this is the place where you downloaded it. Uh, so, for all of us, it's going to be different. So yeah, just press on extract, and then it's gonna take it's gonna take some time. So yeah, I'm gonna come back when it's done. Okay, guys. So now that it is done, what we're gonna do is we're going to go uh, to here, new, and then we're going to press on here yeah, here, new Java project. And then after that here, uh, let's just put the project name tutorial. Tutorial. Okay. And then I don't think, yeah, we don't need to change anything. And then we're going to um, press on next, then finish. Or wait, let's just do this. Do it again. New here. New Java project project name tutorial now let's oh yeah okay let's put it one now it works great so now it's just gonna take some time until it loads but um yeah until it loads uh what we're gonna do in this video we're going to download some of the uh, packages uh, that we need to start. So yeah, we're gonna wait for it to load. Okay, uh, now it's done. We're going to go here to the, uh, it's gonna be like this. We're gonna press on it. Then go to the SRC, right click, press on new, then new package. Uh, so after we press on new package, what we're gonna do is uh, let's keep it the same name uh, as our project so like we don't get confused and then we don't need to check this uh, let's finish okay now we'll go into our tutorial right click again new and then new class um, now we have to yeah just we're gonna keep it the same name and we're going to put on a public static void because this is uh, this is gonna help us in the beginning. So yeah, let's continue. And then let's put the name here and let's put its name to main. Uh, this name is discouraged, but okay. Uh, Java likes it to start with an uppercase, so let's just do that. Main. And you have this is very important. Uh, the stubs that we have to create is a public static void and uh, main. We have to highlight this. This we can remove, or yeah, let's just keep it and then let's press on finish. Now, here, this is where our code is supposed to be. 
um so in the next few videos uh we're going to like start with some uh we're going to start with the if statements and stuff so yeah but for now we're going to like we're going to write a first line of code how to print so let's see how to do it okay so if you know any other languages so f uh for instance if you uh use python if you use css or c++ this is gonna be very easy for you guys because you already understand the concept you just need to uh like learn and memorize the uh index the index so now we are in python the normally how you would print is like you would just write print and this and write whatever you want here in the middle but this is different uh so the way that we print here uh, we go here uh below the stop and we're going to say uh system uh this uh the only reason that like java is a little bit more complicated than other languages is because uh java is used by a lot of companies and uh, if you guys know the game minecraft it's uh made by java so java is a really big programming language it's used for so many purposes so yeah that's why it's a little bit advanced like not really advanced but yeah, if you know other languages, that would uh, also help us. So here, what we're gonna say is system system dot uh, system dot out dot print, and then we're going to say ln the uh, the l here should be like this uh, print dot ln. Okay, uh, let's fix the system. Now we're gonna say after that uh, we have to put quotation we have to put brackets then inside of them we're gonna put quotation marks then we're gonna put what we want to print for example hello world yeah hello world okay now you see there is this X here uh, so let's see I know why that is this is because here you have to put this uh, these dots you have to put them because this is the way that like this is the way that java works it's very similar to c++ so yeah let's try it out so now we have to go over here oh uh, you see there's gonna be this for <clears throat> this there is gonna be one of them for debugging and running glass tools but what we need is to uh, run main java just press on it here and press on OK. Now you see here in the bottom, it works just like Python or any other languages. You see what you wrote inside. So now let's change what we wrote. Let's uh, put hi, this is Muhammad. Okay. This is Muhammad, and we have to put this and this okay. like this now we have to put this and here we're ha we're gonna put the quotation no the okay now let's save uh and john now it says hi this is muhammad so yeah this is basically how it works uh in the next video we're gonna go over some of the classes and yeah we're gonna like start uh, getting into the uh let's not say advanced because it's not really that advanced yet so yeah in the next video we're going to learn uh, about classes and variables so yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video uh, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Bye.